In speaking just about the engine, we're talking about the CM2450 platform, which is a newer ECM architecture. In other words, different hardware and different software in the ECM that's on the engine. The 2450 hardware is capable of embracing telematics. Telematics is basically wireless where the engine can talk to and through the truck to the outside world. Uh, telematics is a great idea, is a great concept. It took a while for it to be able to happen because of infrastructure. And I believe telematics uses the uh, cell phone system because that is so available as far as you're really not out of contact with the outside world in very many places in the United States anyway, if you have cell service. So if telematics is enabled or used, and I think it's a subscription that you pay for, I'm not sure that we don't have or use telematics at this point in time, but uh, I'm pretty sure it's a subscription that you can purchase. And uh, let's, as an example, from what I've read, as you're driving down the road and the check engine light comes on, the engine has a fault, the engine doesn't even tell the driver other than what he sees on the dash. A check engine light, there might be a short description, but the engine will dial up to the outside world and it will call the uh, nearest dealer or distributor, as I understand it, who could work on the truck. And the uh, inside the dealership, the fellow sitting behind the counter that writes you up and makes sure, opens up your work order for repairs, he'll get a pop-up on his screen. And when he clicks on that, it basically brings up that unit that there's a problem and it can generate a work order. It will, if telematics are enabled, the owner of the truck will program in there who's to be emailed. If there's a problem, the system will email uh, a person in usually a maintenance department so they know what's going on and then um, I think it might even let them know if it's a critical fault like a stop engine light or if it's a, a fault where they can proceed to the next earliest available exit to um, have the unit worked on. So in a nutshell it sets everything up. Uh, Cummins has a system called guidance that's something that they use in-house it's not something that the, a, a driver or an owner operator would use and the um, guidance system is kind of a workflow if you will and the telematics would start a guidance ticket and then through there once the truck hits the door a technician's already picked out for it this is all done automatically, a, a time window is assigned, and then a person is going to be calling the customer and telling them, hey, if your truck gets in here, we can look at it this time. And then from there, the repair starts. And then if it's warranty or whatever, that guidance system would, would flow the people that are working at that dealership through it right to the end of the process to where the truck is actually repaired. So that's um, part of what the telematic system would do with the engine. Most likely, uh, it would also be doing something similar with the chassis to the dealership where they bought it or to a dealership. If it's an international, to international dealerships. The reason I mentioned international is I know that um, they were turning telematics on in their trucks that they were selling. Other manufacturers, uh, the customer had to choose that option. So if they don't turn telematics on in the tractor, in the, the cab computer, then the engine's not going to be able to reach out to the outside world if it has a problem. So this is the uh, X15 CM2450, the big change is telematics. 
There are some other small changes to the um, engine and after treatment system, and I'll get into those uh, when I actually talk about the after treatment systems and uh, the other differences. Thanks for joining me at Neural Splendor.